Hi everyone, welcome back to the Meg Moonbeam YouTube channel. My name is Sunny and this is Weekly Crystal Predictions with Sunny. That's me. And it is for the week of July 5th to the 11th, but today, the day I'm filming on is July 4th, so happy Independence Day to all of my American friends. You may be noticing something very patriotic about my outfit today. It is this juju that I made. I make macrame crystal necklaces and I call them juju. And this one is called 1776 Patriot. It is available at thescorplingshop.com if you are interested. And I want you to know that I make custom juju as well. So if you are ever interested in another American flag juju, I can do it up for you. They are adjustable, they are waterproof, they are long lasting. This one is 26 inches. So you can see I do slip knots on each of them with these cute little like leaf, leaf, sorry, designs. And yeah, so this is my most recent one and I love it. I actually love this as you can see. This is what it looks like when it's longer. I love it so much. I wasn't sure how I felt about it at first, but it looks really great. And I know that all you patriotic babes and bows will also enjoy this. It is a Dumortrite in quartz. So it's the blue uh, mineral in there is called Dumortrite and it's in a quartz crystal, which is actually quite rare. And it's a very, very powerful and high vibe crystal. I call it wizard stone because it very much has to do with the, the higher dimensions and manifestation and communication with the higher realms and bending the laws and kind of changing your mindset and mm, it's it's very wizardy very magiciany and uh, if you want to learn more about it actually when you go visit the scorplingshop.com there is a tab for crystal properties but also under each listing um, you will see the crystal properties of the stone that it is so on 1776 patriot juju you'll see the dumortriate um properties in a uh scroll down tab i'm not a drop down tab and yeah so that's <laughs> what we got going on and of course if you would like a personal astrology consultation with Meg. The link is in the description below. Also, I am opening a few spots for personal readings as well. So if you're interested in that, please check out the links below. All the information will be there. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited about that. So some personal readings are available with me for the rest of the month. Uh, I mean, we're still at the beginning of the month. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so let's get into it. So this video is going to be uh, short and sweet. Well, we're going to try to make it short and sweet. So this week there's only going to be three groups and each crystal that you're going to choose from is the same type of crystal. They are fire opal and the theme for this week was uh, what do your spirit guides want you to know? I feel like a lot of fears have been coming up lately surrounding our uh, survival. Uh, going back a few weeks ago, I did a crystal reading about our root chakra and how we can feel safe. So I want to get some more messages that we need to hear right now that can kind of settle the score, settle our nerves and um, what's coming for us, something to look forward to. So it's what your spirit guides want you to know in this moment and what you have to look forward to. I chose fire opal because fire opal is a very strong, confident, quick, fiery energy stone. And it also is a stone of passion and romance and uh, good news and good luck, not only in our personal general life, but in career as well. So if we have fears surrounding love, money, career, uh, relationships, anything like that, it's all going to come through in this reading. So let's get into it. I will see you in the group selection. Hello everyone. Welcome to the group selection portion of this video. We have three groups to choose from each accompanied by a piece of fire opal and I would also like to say that there is a collection of fire opal at the scorplingshop.com if you resonate with the energy of this crystal. So group number one is this fire opal. Group number two is this fire opal. And group number three is this fire opal. The timestamps are linked in the comments below and in the description box below. I will see you at your readings. Hey, 
hello group number one welcome to your reading on what is coming for you what the universe wants you to know right now uh with this fire opal i just saw a image of somebody jumping off a cliff so maybe it will it's a literal um visual of you or people that you're with jumping off a cliff into the lake or something like that's a very summery thing to do but it could also be um a metaphor for you taking a leap of faith and maybe that's something that you've been afraid of but i'm really getting the feeling with fire opal especially it's like the urge to it urges you to let go of your fear and to really go for the things that you really feel passionately about so if there's something new or a move that you need to make or a career change or a person that you need to talk to or you know just anything that has to do with a leap of faith um now is the time to do it this that's the confirmation that yes it is in your best interest to take that leap of faith the universe and your spirit guides really want you to know that you are safe to do that and it's okay and don't focus on the what ifs like the negative what ifs focus on the positive what ifs like oh if i actually do this all of these positive things and all these healthy things are going to uh, grow in my life and it's actually going to be what I hoped for and what I wanted. So instead of anticipating the worst from taking a risk and taking the leap of faith, anticipate the best, okay? Um, and working with Fire Opal and just the energy, you can take the energy of the Fire Opal in right now, is going to uh, harmonize with that uh factor of taking the risk and it's going to really um what's the word support you through that um other crystals that can really support you through that are carnelian citrine um orange calcite red calcite and i would say uh aventurine so that's a green one so if you have any of those crystals too and you don't have a fire opal um i would work with those even pyrite as well okay so we got tarot here. Let's see what the tarot says. Princess of Pentacles, which is the Page of Pentacles, Four of Cups. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so I have a feeling that this is surrounding your financial state and your work. It could have to do with family too, or I mean family could be involved in this fear that you have um, of taking the risk. Um, so I feel like you're getting kind of mixed signals with the Princess of Pentacles reverse. It's actually like the Page of Pentacles, but in this deck it's the Princess of Pentacles. It's very beautiful. Um, with the uh, page of pentacles reversed i feel like you're getting like mixed single signals or mixed messages that um are kind of making you feel weary and you may have tried something new in the past that didn't really work out and you're looking at all those times that whenever you tried something new it didn't work out but you're not seeing um how beautiful um and how many good things how many good things there are actually happening for you and this thing is the is the only thing that matters so as you can see she's paying attention to these cups but she's not paying attention to like the big picture of this cup is actually filling these ones even though it seems empty right now even though it seems kind of um hopeless or mm, not the right choice not the right direction for you there is a sun shining behind you and there is a bigger deeper purpose sometimes things just take a little a little time and it's easier for us uh we're programmed for some reason it's easier for us to look at the negative things and look at the failures rather than you know looking at all the victories and the big victory that has yet to come okay like we're never gonna always be exactly where we want to be because as we grow as we're spiritual beings as we're human beings we're on a path of continuous growth so stop looking for the end result because there is no end result your life isn't over yet so stop looking at the things that didn't work out and being afraid because mm, some things seemed maybe too good to be true or there was like a an opportunity dangling in front of your face and it didn't work out um i always hear this one saying that rejection is um divine redirection so you're actually being redirected into 
towards the right place and maybe you uh when, when i was seeing the leap of faith or jumping off a cliff maybe there is some type of a new idea or new opportunity that has presented itself to you or has kind of uh made itself aware to you in your mind and um that's a whole new thing so and and you are being asked to take that risk and with the nine of pentacles that's really great because it's urging you to have confidence in yourself and also remembering like all the work that you've done and what you've built but also what you can continue to build in your life and uh yeah this is just a very this i feel like this is a positive omen that just if you start to focus on uh what you want to continue to do to grow in in life you will feel more grateful you'll have more gratitude and you will start to see all the positive uh, things in your life like kind of line up and come into place and you might feel more at ease, ease and at peace with yourself and uh, within your family, within your career and with what you have accomplished and what will you will continue to accomplish. This is also telling you that it's okay to enjoy what you have or like I mean that's just a repetition. It's okay to enjoy the things that you have already and if you feel like you need more Again, stop looking at like the end result because there is no end result yet. You know, you, you haven't lived your full life yet. There's still so much growth to be done. So stop paying attention to the things that didn't work out and being afraid to go towards something that, you know, could possibly work out. We're going to end off with three more cards. Oop, this one fell out. Three more astrology cards. What else do you need to know? this one wants to come out okay achievement exactly wow caution okay that makes sense and fulfillment wow okay so this is so interesting so obviously there's a goal or there's something that you have in mind that you want to go for this is the sun in capricorn and capricorn is the sun in capricorn is all about you know your legacy and what you're going to achieve and accomplish in your life hold on my cat just wants to go inside Irby. and then the caution is like again it's a repetition it's like all the things that could go wrong or have gone wrong in the past it's really circling around in your mind although like again going back to the page of pentacles princess of pentacles reverse it's like you have all these beautiful things surrounding you but there's been times where it didn't really work out and i feel like a lot of us get stuck in the anxiety and which puts us in a uh, mood of depression which uh, keeps us focusing on the times where things didn't work out and we kind of go into like a victim mindset when actually in reality we have so many beautiful things and we've achieved so many beautiful things so it's smart to take caution with also all these i think they're gazelles and hyenas and stuff um but that's you that has the control i feel like this is representative of people that probably didn't have your best interest at hand that seemed like they were going to help um further you and uh further develop your career and stuff like that and it's happened multiple times um but they ended up being you know predators <laughs> i mean that's a really intense word but they ended up not having your best interest at hand and um making you feel kind of bad and you're not really understanding like why things haven't been working out in your favor so I would suggest when you take the risk take it for yourself do it for yourself without feeling like you need to rely on someone else to like catch you or have your back like take this risk for yourself don't take the risk for someone else so don't give your power away to somebody else because you think it's going to get you further along or to the end goal that you want to be i would suggest being very independent and having caution with anyone who kind of shows up and seems like they're going to help you or they want to help you or they care about you um when they actually just want to gain something from you um selfishly okay they don't want to help grow together they just want to take something from you so have caution with that and also, again, like this, these are all kind of just like repetitions of things, like uh, fulfillment, like knowing Saturn and, and Sagittarius, knowing that you can create your own fulfillment. And a lot of it has to do with mindset. So I would suggest doing new therapeutic 
things that help with your anxiety because I'm feeling like a lot of this is anxiety and worry and fear of failure and the universe wants you to know you do not have to be afraid of failing also um, th those are experiences that we need to have because we learn from them and again like I said before rejection is divine redirection that is a good saying or quote I don't know who it's by but I've heard it multiple times um, even within the last week and that's really coming up for this um, reading and also like you are being divinely guided and supported to take a risk and a leap of faith that's going to lead you into this and the herons it's it's a it's divine it's divine and you're in alignment and you don't need to keep paying attention to what didn't work out and stop being anxious because you have so many beautiful things coming for you and a lot of obviously achievement material wealth and comfortable comfortability and you know abundance in your finances in your life in your family and i would suggest just whatever it is you need to do to help with your anxiety maybe write a list of all the good things start focusing on the positive things like i said earlier don't anticipate all the negative things before they even happen or even anticipate or even focusing on some negative things that have happened even in a relationship focus on like the truth okay like what's actually happening happening am i creating an issue am i creating something like some fears am i feeding fears that are happening in my mind or is what i am afraid of actually happening in real time so it's like play your life back like a movie and look at certain instances and see the truth it's like okay in this instance <laughs> let's just use a person for example okay when i'm with this person how does this person make me feel how does this person treat me um you know stuff like that what has this person said to me um what is the truth of this person's like actions towards me when i'm with them okay and if they're positive and if they're loving and if they're supportive then ask well then where is this fear coming from you know and is there something that you felt like intuitively that's kind of strange and maybe it's just something that needs to be talked through and again when you have anxiety and a fear of abandonment even or a fear of failure you can go through the list of all the negative things and create a monster within yourself create an issue within yourself that might not actually be uh based in reality but but based on past experiences and fear so the universe wants you to know that it is safe for you to take that risk to take the leap of faith and to keep moving forward so if this reading resonated with you please leave a fire emoji in the comment section see you next number time. two if you chose this fire opal then this is your reading what is coming for you what does the universe want you to know this is a very deep fire opal so i feel like it's making me feel like something deep has come to the surface or is coming to the surface to be released. If you are a woman, um, you might be on your moon time right now. It could be a reason why you're attracted to this. Uh, but it also uh, talks about like the depth of your feeling. It could also uh, ring to mm, maybe something to do with your hormone, ho sorry, hormones or hormonal imbalance. Something that has to do with the feminine cycle is coming for uh, up for me a lot here, but it, if you're not a, a female and you're a male, uh, you could be in a relationship or dealing with somebody who is going through um, intense cycles. Uh, but also something very deep could be from your childhood is coming up to the surface that is wanting to be looked at and wanting to be healed and to be released. So something very deep. Maybe you have a breakthrough with a family member, a uh, very emotional, heartfelt conversation. Um, could be something to do with a child. Like again, I'm feeling, I'm feeling the warmth in my sacral chakra. <laughs> so something to do with some type of uh, deep wound or trauma. And if you're a woman, maybe learning more about your cycle or your hormones or getting to the bottom of that. So that's what this stone is telling me. Let's see what is coming for you. Oh, wow. That's so interesting. Like in this card, we see these two, this man and the woman, they're kind of like in a womb. 
and well, oh my gosh okay this is crazy wow overcoming okay and ace of pentacles let's yeah no ace of pentacles okay okay so <laughs> This could also have to do with maybe uh, some some of you are trying to have a child and that could be something that you've been feeling fear surrounding and um, you're maybe fearful that you're infertile or there's just it's just not happening uh, because of the nods towards, you know, the reproductive system and the cycles, but also the Ace of Pentacles reverse. The Ace of Pentacles is physical. Pentacles are physical, so they could be money, family, um, people. You know, and um, the Ace of Pentacles can symbolize a birth of a baby or a birth of a new idea, but it is reversed. So I feel like there is some type of fear surrounding either a, mm, a birth, anticipated birth, or even just having a child. Oh my god, there's a very scary bug crawling around. Oh my god, I don't like it. Ah! Okay, this is interesting that the scary bug, I, I don't think you guys can see it. Wait, let's see. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, anyways, the scary bug just came right up to the table. And the <laughs> devil card is here. And the devil card doesn't necessarily have to be uh, scary. However, there is some uh, darkness surrounding these issues. So... If it is a trauma, well, oh my God. So this is taking me all over the place. So if this does have to do with being infertile, whether you're a man or a woman, uh, it could be because there is a wound in the sacral area and some type of trauma um, that needs to be released, that needs to be healed before a spirit, soul, child can actually enter and uh, be created, okay? So we need to actually work through whatever this deep thing is. I told you this was deep. This is very deep. And it's scary because it's going to require you to face something traumatic or a shadow that you've been avoiding. And um, the devil also nods to escapism tactics or uh, hedonistic things that can kind of take you out of that experience, out of your body. You know what I mean? So you don't want to actually feel these things. So you could be, you could have, you could be, have a, a, some type of an addiction problem. It could also be some type of a sexual addiction or a, some type of a love addiction. Um, and it's kind of, it, ha it kind of has a, a, a hold of you. Um, but you are so strong. You're very strong and you're very able and capable of dealing with this. Uh, we have the seven of wands, which is overcoming a struggle. Um, not being afraid to not letting fear and not letting other people like mm, the words, the um, past words, the current words, the adversities of others get to your lion warrior heart, your warrior spirit and stop allowing those things. So maybe somebody said something to you or something traumatic happened to you that has kept you from you know, really releasing and shining your light. Uh, sometimes we don't even remember. So this is really interesting because um, I was working with a stone calcite, um, an orange calcite, and uh, calcite is known to recover um, hidden memory. And as I was working with the calcite, I remembered this exact moment where someone close to me in my life said something to me and I absorbed that and it created a whole belief system that I was living my life by subconsciously because I absorbed the words of what that person said or or the um, judgment or criticism of that person. And I actually, like it created a program in me where I was living my life or part of my life was like programmed by the words that that person said in that moment. And I didn't realize it until I was meditating with this orange calcite at one point. And I was like, oh my God, like, that thing that it, it wasn't even like that dire it could just be anything but because it depends on like your relationship and like the strings that you have attached to that person it had such an effect on me that i held that inside my body subconsciously and it created a pattern um that which made me live like 
by a certain cycle and I, I, when I remembered it, I released it and that thing doesn't affect me anymore. And it just, that's coming up for me because maybe, like I said, something really deep is coming to the surface and it has to do with some type of a trauma. Um, it could be from past lives, but I have a feeling it's from childhood. Um, so like I said again, that's probably why the, you have these hormonal issues or these issues with your, um, your period or um, issues with fertility or issues with just like being in your power and shining your light. Uh, something happened to you where it's like affecting you from being the fearless warrior that you actually are. And if you want to look deeper into it, you've been carrying this like a warrior. Your, your warriors carry their battle wounds with them and they continue to move forward. So even though this is something that's affected you negatively and it's something that you haven't released yet, like you've been carrying it and you keep going forward. Like you're not afraid to keep living life and keep going forward and it has probably created blockages and setbacks but you have the power to overcome it and once this comes to the surface and once you deal with it and once you take the steps to move forward um from this specific trauma or addiction or, or whatever it is this will become this so everything that you want to create in life manifest in life give birth to will will come and is coming so the universe wants you to know that this is actually coming. And the reason why something specific that you want, that you've been trying to manifest isn't coming, is because there's really something really intense that's been locked inside of you that's coming to the surface. So, <laughs> that's so intense. But we all need to go through these phases in life. It's part of our spiritual growth and development. And the universe wants you to know that it's safe for you to do so and that it's time for you to do so and that you do not need to be afraid. And we're gonna pick three more astrology cards to see what is coming for you. So major breakthroughs and healing is coming for you. Okay, I don't know, hold on. <laughs> I wanna redo that because that was just confusing. So three more things, what is coming for group number two? What does the universe want you to know? see here power wow the moon in scorpio claiming back your power reclaiming your power from this one thing that's had a hold on you resourcefulness wow so again oh my gosh and generosity okay wow this is really cool so we have the moon in scorpio which is all about your power taking your power back and also feeling very deep 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 things that can be kind of scary that not everybody wants to deal with and it's not something that we want to deal with all the time um but right now in order to you know manifest and get take away these blockages if because you want to have breakthroughs we're gonna have to go and, and feel the deep feelings maybe you're going through some type of therapy maybe you're doing some type of like uh, hypno stuff or working with um solfeggios or like hertz frequency music and stuff it's kind of bringing these subconscious things out of you or working with a certain crystal that's bringing these things out of you or you have a flashback or whatever it is um it's it's about taking your power back from this thing and it's it's coming it's coming and this kind of to me this sudden cancer resourcefulness is a little bit of a nod to the seven of wands it's like even though this deep scary thing has been living inside of you uh you haven't let it stop you from wanting to improve, from wanting to heal, from wanting to manifest, from wanting to have better in your life. Like I said, you're a warrior, you have a lion spirit and you're not gonna be stopped and you're resourceful. And then we have generosity. So this tells me to continue um, giving people your light and your love to be generous with your light and your love. Um, although before I said that there might have been blockages from you feeling confident enough to um, shine your light, I feel like you are very, you shine your light in a way where you don't even realize because you're a very generous, loving, caring person. Uh, but I, to me, this also tells me that um, you're going to have the opportunity to receive uh, generosity from others in your life. So people who want to help you through this, 
um, even your spirit guides who want to help you through this. So I feel like a sense of community, uh, I feel like a sense of sharing. I feel like a sense of, even with the Ace of Pentacles reversed, maybe you could be having a financial crisis right now. Um, and that's why resourcefulness is coming up too. Um, you had to be very frugal and resourceful during this time. And it's all due to this one very specific issue. This one very specific trauma that you've endured. It wants to be released so we can cut out the blockages and move forward. So it's about being generous, but also accepting generosity. And if you have been generous in your life, this is your payback. Um, you're getting, uh, you're seeing generosity from others in return. So that's what the universe wants you to know. That's what's coming for you. Uh, I'm, I'm sending you many blessings and love during this time. I believe in you. I'm proud of you. If this reading resonated with you, please leave a rainbow emoji in the comments. I love you. See you next time. Hey, group number three. If you chose this fire opal, then this is your reading all about what's coming to you and what the universe wants you to know right now. Uh, I'm getting like total sun, sunshine vibes from this. So I feel like something exciting is coming. You're waiting for there's maybe a certain event that you're excited about um that's coming very soon or uh something exciting is just going to like pop up fireworks it's july 4th it was just uh, canada day too um something exciting like a firework <laughs> i keep feeling like this explosive and like jumping as i do this energy uh coming to you so something very exciting you're anticipating something very exciting you might be very um in tune with you know the energies the subtle energies and you might get like feelings in your body when you know that something is like coming up um so you might have actually like in your solar plexus you might be feeling like this kind of butterfly nervousness but in a very positive like way like exciting energy like you you feel like something is coming you're anticipating something good and exciting so let's see what it is <laughs> if we can it might be a surprise too and if it's a surprise then i'm not going to be able to disclose that to you because we know that if it's a surprise the universe wants to keep it a surprise okay wow that's completely opposite of what i was feeling that is very interesting um okay so for some of you the anticipation of something exciting could you know, it could have a weird, I don't know what the word is, um, what's the word? Um, paradox in a way where it's like you're excited to end something. Um, so the Three of Swords is heartbreak and like disappointment. <laughs> this is a confusing one. Uh, you might be excited to actually end something or you may have just gone, gone through a really difficult time in your life. Um, in relationships, in your career, in your life that uh, has caused a lot of emotional turmoil and you're starting to feel the, uh, starting to feel the, th uh, the wheel turn again for you. So you're starting to feel like this phase of your life is finally coming to a close or you're someone who's like, you know what, I see... I see the truth now, the veil has been uh, released, or um, the veil has been taken off my eyes and I see the truth and I wanna get out of this situation and it's like, I'm going to end this and it might cause heartbreak and pain to some, but uh, I'm excited to move forward. So it could be either one of those things, if that makes sense. With the high priestess and the star reverse, that's very interesting, so those are both major arcana cards. So this tells me probably possibly it whatever you've been going through in your life um this very heavy time in your life is coming to an end it's caused you to not feel like yourself it has caused you to not feel like the bright star that you really are maybe that's what i'm feeling i'm feeling i'm feeling your energy i'm feeling like you are a bright star and you're feeling that that feeling is kind of coming back into your life after a very heavy time and like i said before you might be very intuitive you might be feeling things in your body but for the past few months even year uh, because your emotions have been so 
intense and there's been such highs and lows emotionally you might feel like you've been a little bit off with your intuition and not knowing like what's a sign or what's real or which direction to follow um, you might have been feeling a little bit lost and like your gut uh, instincts have been kind of off because you're not feeling confident and um, you haven't been feeling confident you haven't feel like you haven't been feeling like you've been in a position where you're shining so you could be coming out of a very maybe abusive situation abusive relationship or uh, something where you've had to deal with like a narcissist or just in some type of situation where your light and your worth was being overlooked was being taken advantage of and was being dimmed and is not appreciated so I feel like I'm gonna turn these back up and I'm gonna turn this this way because this is something that you're coming out of and I really do feel that I really do feel that so if it's something that you've been worried about if everything's gonna go back to you know, if you're gonna get your mojo back, I really feel like you are. I have this very strong feeling in my stomach. So the 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 feelings, the butterflies, and like the nervous energy in the stomach that you've been feeling, um, it's going to be transforming from, or it may, possibly already is in the uh, transition of transforming from negative or, or nauseous or, or sick to excited and happy and like oh my god what's what's happening like something is changing so um yeah i hope that makes sense uh i because i really feel i really feel it in my in my solar plexus so if this is what's been causing you worry and fear the universe wants you to know that it's changing and you know especially with the butterflies here and the star and this is you so we're going to focus on this is you and your intuitive insights and, and truth it, it's all it's coming back because this phase you've gone through a really difficult phase in your life and it's coming to an end so that's what the universe wants you to know right now and we'll pick three more astrology cards on what the universe wants you to know so i would be excited actually because i feel like something exciting is coming for you um yeah so Let's see, what else does group number three need to know right now? I don't know what this word means, ostentation. I really don't. I can't remember. Independence, wow. Okay. Maybe I understand. Okay. Manipulation, wow. Okay. I'm going to pick one more card just for like some clarity here for you. Okay, interesting. So we have more butterflies and stuff. Okay, ostentation. I'm gonna be honest. I don't. I don't. I remember I looked it up, and I, I don't remember what this word means. But I feel like even though you were in this crappy situation, um, you were still growing and building and learning. Like you see this lady. She's with the bulls. The bulls are very steadfast and they're very slow, but they're very strong, and they know who they are. They know what they need. And this woman is cultivating even though you know the situation isn't healthy um you still gained a lot of knowledge and you still cultivated mm, certain um information that you needed to move forward past this phase so it's about being true to yourself and being steadfast and making the right choices at the right time and with the moon and aquarius card and the independence we have like the stone circles here and everything this is all about you, you know, remembering who you are and wanting to come home to yourself. So the universe is telling you that this is a great time. It's Independence Day <laughs> to not be afraid to speak and think freely. Freedom of speech, freedom of thought, and to um, be yourself again and to remember who you are. So we got two Aquarius cards. So you probably have Aquarius energy. The star is Aquarius and then we have the moon in Aquarius. I also have moon in Aquarius so I can relate to that. And it's funny because I was talking about um, possible abuse or narcissism. So you could have, you could be coming out of a phase of being manipulated to the point where you don't even know like if your thoughts and feelings are even valid or real. The universe wants you to know that yes, they are. And for you to continue to move forward and to let go of 
the discrimination that you have faced in your life it could not maybe not only from the person if you were in an abusive relationship but even their family or the people around you even your family had something to say about whatever like everybody had something to say about you or about the situation um this is all about an exciting time of coming back into who you are so that's probably why i'm feeling the solar plexus like bursting so much because that's your that's your truth that's your inner sun that is your soul that is your instincts that is what you need to follow and that's where you're going to shine and it's all about who you are and really doing things for you so the universe would would like you to make choices this summer or moving forward whenever you're watching this to make selfish choices and that's not a negative thing especially when we are coming out of a phase where we feel like we're not being seen or heard or cared for or understood at all do something for you if you're an Aquarius, buy yourself a leather jacket and walk around with that thing and be like, yeah, I'm cool in my leather jacket. Wear a cool outfit, whatever you want to wear. Um, I feel like something that needs to do with expressing yourself and being seen and um, just remembering who you are. So diving back into old interests or old passions that maybe you haven't had the energy for because you've been so drained from being in such a crappy situation i just feel like you need to be very excited because good things are on the horizon and um you've done really difficult hard work but it's all for soul expansion and something beautiful is coming your way and if that reading resonated with you please leave a sun emoji in the comments i love you and i'm proud of you see you next time